uh, pleased again with the intensity of practice. This is always the case. You uh, you try to get probably more done in shorts than you probably should, just because everybody's exuberant, wanting to play. And and uh, but it was a good practice and, and one that we'll learn a lot from. And, and looking forward to putting pads on for Saturday. Uh, Jeff Baca has a left ankle injury. We don't know the extent of it. We've got to go get x-rays. We'll find out. But, uh, hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed and get good news that uh, won't be an extensive uh, uh, process to get back. But uh, overall, I'm really pleased with everybody and, and uh, excited to look at the tape again and see if we can't get a little bit better. What did you see in the tape so far? You know, I saw uh, some maturity, some, some guys that are growing up and, and becoming better players, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, having more of that. Obviously, we've uh, you know, got a ways to go with, is to try to meld new coaches with players together, but uh, I believe that uh, we're on the right course, and I, I like where we are right now. If Jeff has to miss an extended period of time, who, who will get the majority of the Right now, uh, Connor Bradford and uh, Stan Haziak are also slated at that position, so we'll uh, we'll watch and see how that develops, and we'll make some decisions as to whether or not we need to move anybody. But uh, I got my fingers crossed uh, as a yet yeah, trying to stay optimistic. It has to be a frustrating second day in, and here's another. Yeah, it's uh, it's you know part of the game, but uh, uh, we, we've got our fingers crossed that it won't be a long-term deal. What, what is Stan's status? Well, he's on the team. He's practicing and, and uh, trying to earn himself a spot on this uh, roster. Can you talk about the tempo and then just you know, I know Tuesday a big focus was the kids reacting to you know what you guys are expecting from them this year. How do you kind of think they did? I thought the tempo was better today. You know, we tried to get we, we added plays to the script to see if we could get more plays in each 10 minute period, and, and for the most part we did. Uh, you know, when you had the when we had the injury, there was a little disruption and, and slowing, but. Uh, other than that, there was, uh, you know, we, we got probably two more plays for every period, so that means we're going faster, and, and uh, that's that's always encouraging. That sometimes means you're not correcting all the mistakes on the field, but we'll have time to do that off the tape. Watching, watching out there, it seems you run at about 95 percent pistol. Right now, right now we are. We're, we're almost uh, exclusively in the gun, but, but in terms of pistol, meaning that the guy's always behind us, that's not the case. We're, if you're talking about shotgun quarterback, that is the case. If you're talking about offset backs, then no, I think we're, we're not as exclusive to the guy right behind us. Well, we want we want to see uh, who our best two safeties are. You know, we started with uh, Tony and Dietrich, and now we, you know have give other guys chances. But I want to see uh, Alex Mascarenas. I want to see Kevin McDonald. I want to see uh, uh, Anthony Thompson, our, our new freshman. Uh, and obviously, we know Dietrich, uh, uh, Dalton Hilliard is in the wings. So. Uh, we, we just got to try to develop some depth. We're going to move guys around so Tony can play both strong and free in the uh, in spring, and then we'll see exactly where everybody fits as we put the thing back together in the fall. We're going to see. We're going to give him some chances to do that. Yeah. John Young seemed pretty active today. He's catching the ball pretty well. He's getting a lot of reps. You know, uh, that's uh, always a good thing about spring. You got get guys like him chances. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him do more and more. You mentioned some stuff about Anthony Barr in the backfield. Uh, obviously, haven't really been. Not yet. We're focusing more on uh, in, in, in the F position now, but uh, there'll be a portion of spring where we'll emphasize that. I saw a lot of option over there. Is that something that comes with Mike Johnson and, and that new offense we're trying to implement? Or? Uh, no, it's just some stuff that we're working on to, to try to get the ball into the hands of what we think are some really skilled players. Just about Jordan. Jordan James, I, you know, I think he makes a play every day. He, you get excited about his legs. You know, it's uh, about putting it all together. He still has a hiccup or two when he goes the wrong way or forgets a pass blocking assignment. And those are the kind of things that we got to iron out. And that's what this, what this time's for. Is that primarily primarily a concern for him? Is that?